accept your universal supplies, and then you can step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. Please do nothing until the next verbal instructions are given. You will break down your work area and dispose of supplies used in the previous sections of the examination. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have five minutes to complete the section. You will be informed when you have two minutes remaining. Do not set up or perform any services until the verbal instructions have been given and you are instructed to begin. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. First thing you're gonna do is step forward and sanitize. And then your client is no longer a client. They're more of a mannequin head. So when you touch their head and stuff, you don't have to sanitize in between. You'll take their towel and put it into soiled linens, remove their headband and remove their hairnet. Headband goes into soiled linens, hairnet goes into garbage. You'll sit your client, not client, more mannequin head up, get rid of this towel and put it into soiled linens. And then you're going to grab a barbicide wipe. When you grab your barbicide wipe, the first area that you want to get under is your mannequin head so that you don't forget to wipe this side of the table. So wipe the edges again. You can wipe under your mannequin head. You'll wipe the sides and then you can put your mannequin head back so that you know this is a clean surface. Set that back down and then one by one you're going to pick up your universal supplies, wipe them down and bring them over by the mannequin head. Your barbicide wipes included. Wipe the whole thing down. Keep it to the side. Wipe the water down to the side. The tissue box, paper towel bag, or box to the side. First aid kit. And your universal supplies. Just is wiping off the side. You'll take your barbicide wipe and finish wiping off the other side of the table that is still dirty. So wipe the edges of the table. And then you already know that side's clean and this side is clean now too. So you'll throw away your barbicide wipe, remove your gloves, sanitize, make sure everything is off to the side and you wipe the whole table and then you'll step back. All clients have indicated that they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Work area and new client preparation and setup of supplies. You will prepare your work area for a new client. You will set up the universal supplies you will need for the remainder of the examination. You will also set up the supplies of the following sections of the examination. Ultrasonic treatment of the forehead and upper lip, beta hydroxy acid, BHA treatment, microcurrent treatment to the upper obriculus oculi, body treatment, dry exfoliation, and mud mask. You will prepare your client for the services. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will be informed when you have eight minutes remaining. Do not demonstrate any procedures until the verbal instructions are given and you are instructed to begin. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, you'll step forward and you're gonna sanitize even though your sanitizer bottle's over here, but you'll still sanitize. You'll grab your new pair of gloves because you just took off your gloves. You'll be putting on your new gloves and you'll be grabbing an, a, a barbicide wipe once you get your gloves on. I recommend sizing up in gloves. If you wear a small, wear a medium. If you wear a medium, bring a large. So you'll grab your barbicide wipe, and instead of wiping this side first, you're gonna wipe this side. Even though we just wiped it down, you're gonna re-wipe everything to make sure it's super sanitized. Wipe down the edges, and then one by one, you will bring in your things again and set them up how you had them before. So your sanitized bottle, put it back, your barbicide wipes, put it back, your water,
Then you'll lift up the client head, wipe under the client again, the edges of the table. And then you'll throw away your barbicide wipe. And then I'm gonna remove my gloves again because in my kit, I have a floating pair of gloves to put on for client too because now I'm setting up for my new client. So I'll throw those away and I'll sanitize. And then you're gonna be doing exactly what you did at the beginning, setting up for your client, but this time it's client too. So you'll come into your bin, put it in the side, and you'll grab your floating pair of gloves and you can put those on right now. So that this is a new client, new pair of gloves. Then you'll grab your client number two uh, kit that will be labeled in here and you'll put it on the table along with your steam towel on the table. Then you'll close your bin and everything should be out of your bin at this point. Still lock it and slide it back under. You'll come up and you'll sanitize over the garbage. You'll set your steam towel off to the side and you'll start to prepare your client just like you do with client one. So you'll get your things out, your aesthetic wipes will come off to the side with you again. This extra baggie for other treatments will come off to the side. You'll have a, br a facial brush off to the side with you. You'll get out your ultrasonic and bring it off. Same with your microcurrent. And then you'll set up your bottles in the correct order. So the correct order goes conducting gel, the correct order you'll bring these out in is your ultrasonic solution, your degreaser, your occlusive barrier. It's a little guy. Don't forget it. Make sure you put it in between. Your BHA, beta hydroxy acid, your neutralizer, and then your conducting gel, your sunscreen, and your mud mask. Then this bag should be empty. You'll zip it up like you did before. Squeeze out the air, throw it in, sanitize. Then you'll prepare your client like you did with client number one. If you don't have enough space, like I didn't create myself enough space, you can move your bottles over to be able to lay down your client head. So you'll take out your first towel, lay it down, put your client on it, make the mountains with your towel, lay that down. Same thing, do the hairnet and the wrap. And now that you've touched their hair, you will sanitize. And then make sure your work area is set up how you like it. Everything is out. You have it in the order that you like it. Once you've sanitized, you can step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Ultrasonic treatment of forehead and upper lip. You will perform an ultrasonic treatment. You will demonstrate the ultrasonic treatment on the forehead and upper lip. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, first things first, step forward and sanitize like you have been doing. And then we will grab one aesthetic wipe. And set it to the side. And we'll grab our ultrasonic solution. You're done with this now, you can throw it away. You'll apply it on the forehead and upper lip. Once you've applied that, you can throw this away, sanitize, 
And then this is your um, only one that needs ear protection, but it also needs eye protection. But this is the only treatment that you will use ear protection. So you'll come back in, you'll grab your two cotton balls, and you'll grab your two um, half round eye protection. Zip your bag back up. Then you will grab your water to get your iPads wet. Come over to your client and apply the eye pads. You'll sanitize because you've touched their eyes. You'll get their ear protection and you'll apply the ear protection in the ears. And then you'll sanitize because you've touched their ears. Then you'll get your ultrasonic. You'll take this wristband off and place it on their chest as if it were their wrist. You'll unravel your ultrasonic. Same thing with the microcurrent and the LED. It'll be in your arm. You'll welcome yourself to the client. Now this is what's different. With microderm, you did vertical and then horizontal. With uh, ultrasonic, you're gonna do horizontal and then vertical. So you'll welcome yourself to the client and you will do horizontal first. You'll just do it probably three to five times is enough going across the forehead this way and then this way. And then when you do your vertical strokes, make sure to come towards you. So do that a few times across the forehead. Once you've done the forehead, you will move to the upper lip. If this happens like my string fell off, you can just grab it and bring it back down. You'll do their upper lip and you wanna kind of flick it up so that they don't think you're shoving it into their lips. So flick it up, go across the lip a few times to indicate you are getting the full lip. Once you're done with this, you'll put this into items to be disinfected, sanitize, Come back to your client. You can take their wrist band. This will go into items to be disinfected. You'll grab their eye protection and you'll sanitize. And then you'll come back and you'll grab out their ear protection. Don't forget that because it does blend in with the white and it you can you can't really see it. Just throw those away, sanitize. Make sure your ultrasonic solution is in your items to be dis disinfected. And then you're gonna wanna grab an aesthetic wipe and remove the rest of the ultrasonic solution from their face. So you'll, you can do it with water, you don't have to. You'll remove the excess off their forehead and their upper lip. And then you can throw this away and you'll sanitize. Make sure everything's how you want it. And then you can step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Beta hydroxy acid BHA treatment. You will perform a beta hydroxy acid BHA treatment. You will demonstrate the beta hydroxy acid treatment on the face. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Upon completion of this section, you will be instructed, instructed by the proctor to remove any residue from the face. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. All right, first thing, step forward and sanitize. And then we're doing a BHA. So your first thing that you're gonna do is degrease the whole face. So you'll come into your aesthetic wipes and you'll grab two aesthetic wipes, one to degrease, one to pat dry. If you can't get it out like me, pinch the outside of the baggie to get it out, zip it up. Grab your degreaser. Degrease the whole face.
Once you've degreased the face, you'll throw this away. You'll pat dry. You'll throw this away. You'll sanitize. You can get rid of your degreaser or you can wait till the end of this treatment. I'm gonna get rid of mine right now so I don't forget. And then you're gonna come into this little extra baggie that you have here and you're gonna grab the wooden stick. Push it up from the bottom so you're not sticking your hand in. Grab it out. And then in your aesthetic white baggie, you'll have three Q-tips. You'll grab those out, push them up same way so you're not grabbing in. I packed four to be safe, but you only need three. Um, you'll zip that up. You'll grab your occlusive barrier and you'll get it's on, you will grab your stick and you'll get a chunk on your stick. Get enough so that you have enough. Put the lid back on and put it into items to be disinfected. You'll grab your first Q-tip and you will put some on the first side and you will do your client's eye. You want a good amount of it so they can see it. Apply it around the orbiculus oculi. And then as, once you're done with this eye, you're gonna hold your Q-tip up and flip it so that the proctor knows that you are using a different side that is clean. You'll apply it to the other eye. Then you'll throw this Q-tip away because we're done with the eyes. Your next uh, part to put the occlusive barrier is around the nose. So you'll grab one side, do it around the nose. Same thing, flip your Q-tip to know that you're using a clean side. Do the other side of the nose. Throw this Q-tip away because we're done with it now. And then your last place that you need to do your occlusive barrier is around your lips. So you'll do one side of the lip. Flip your Q-tip. And do the other side of the lip. Once you're finished with that, you can throw this away and your stick away and the extra Q-tip if you have one. Then you'll sanitize. You will grab your eye protection for your client. Grab your water, get your aesthetic or your iPads wet. Apply them to your client's face. Gently pat them down. Sanitize because you've touched their eyes. Then you're gonna come into this bag that has your other items in it and you'll grab a plastic cup. You'll set your cup face down to keep it clean. Then you're gonna grab your BHA solution and you'll apply it over the garbage apply a good amount, then you're good to get rid of this into items to be disinfected. You'll bring your BHA cup over and set it down by the client's face. You'll grab an aesthetic wipe and you'll zip this back up. And then you're going to grab your uh, little cup, soak your aesthetic wipe in it, come over to the garbage, wring out excess stuff, moisture, Drop your uh, BHA, you're done with that cup now. You'll come back over to your client and you have your chemical pill BHA on here and you will apply it to the face. Once you've applied the BHA all over the face, 
You'll throw away your BHA, sanitize, and then you're gonna come back to your client. Don't step back, you'll stand over them like this, indicating that the BHA is sitting for however long it needs to sit. You count to 30 in your head, stand here. Once you've counted to 30, you'll come back, you'll sanitize again. And then you're going to get an aesthetic wipe and you're gonna neutralize the face. So grab an aesthetic wipe. And you'll grab your neutralizer, dispense it over the garbage. You're now done with your neutralizer, items to be disinfected. Come over, you'll neutralize your client's face. Once you've neutralized their face, you'll throw this away, sanitize, and then you're going to step back even though it seems weird because you're not done with the treatment, but they want you to step back because then they will tell you to remove your occlusive barrier. So even though you're like, ooh, I shouldn't step back, make sure you've neutralized and then you can step back. So you'll sanitize, make sure you've neutralized, look around, make sure your stuff is off of the table, and then you'll step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. Please do nothing until the next verbal instructions are given. Please remove all remaining residue from the face. Okay, so you'll step forward and you will sanitize. And then what I'm gonna do is change my gloves because in my head, I did a BHA, I have BHA on my hand. So I'm gonna remove my gloves and I'm gonna sanitize. And then instead of grabbing it out of your universal supplies, you should have a pair of gloves in this baggie that you can put on for your um, new pair of gloves because you had VHA on your hands. So you'll apply your new pair of gloves before you remove your occlusive barrier because you've neutralized the face and you don't wanna put any more VHA on the face from your hands. So you'll put these on, sanitize. And then you'll come into your baggie and you'll grab your aesthetic wipe. And then you're gonna remove the uh, occlusive barrier. So you can remove the lips. The nose. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to get the Vaseline occlusive barrier off of their face. So if you can't get it all off, that's okay. Get another aesthetic wipe and remove as much as you can. So what I'm going to do is it's hard to get around the eyes with the eye protection on. So I'm going to throw this one away. I'm going to remove their eye pads, sanitize because I've touched their eyes. And lucky enough, I got an extra set of wipe out, but if you need to grab another one, you can. You'll come back and just remove the rest of the occlusive barrier around the face. Make sure you got it all off. It is a little tricky. Then you'll throw this away and you'll sanitize again. Make sure your chemical pill BHA treatment is off your table. Your client is done. You'll, you've sanitized and there's no longer any Vaseline or occlusive barrier on the face. Sanitize again if you want, if you forgot to, and then you'll step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Microcurrent treatment to the upper orbicularis oculi. You will perform a microcurrent treatment. You will demonstrate the microcurrent treatment on one upper orbicularis oculi. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Okay, first thing, step forward, sanitize. And then you're gonna grab an aesthetic wipe and you will apply your conducting gel. You just pick one orbiculus oculi to do and it's just right above the eyebrow. 
So you'll grab an aesthetic wipe, you'll grab your conducting gel, and you'll apply over the garbage. Don't get rid of this yet because you need more. So you will come over. I'm gonna pick this eye. You'll apply your conducting gel. Get rid of this. Sanitize because you touched their eyebrow. And then you're gonna come in this extra baggie that you have here and you'll grab your plastic cup. Leave it facing down. Then you'll grab your conducting gel. Put some in your cup. Put a good amount. Then you can get rid of this into items to be disinfected. You'll bring this back over by your client. You'll grab your conducting microcurrent sticks. You'll put them in the same arm. You will put your conducting sticks into the conducting gel to moisten them before you put them on your client's face. Once you've done that, you will introduce yourself, come over to your client, what you want to do with this is you want your bottom microcurrent stick moving to your top. So it will go like this. You don't want them to touch. So you'll move, 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 move. Pick them up. Go back to the beginning. Bottom moves to top. Do it a few times. Make sure they don't touch. Once you're done with that, you'll put these into items to be disinfected. You'll sanitize. You'll throw away your cup of conducting gel. Sanitize again. Then you will come and get your aesthetic wipe and you're gonna remove the conducting gel on their forehead or on their orbiculus oculi. Just remove the excess. Throw your aesthetic wipe away, sanitize again. And then you're gonna apply sunscreen to the face. So you'll grab your sunscreen, put it in your fingertips. You're good to throw this into items to be disinfected. Emulsify your sunscreen over the garbage. Come over to your client. Same thing in client one, do it for 30 seconds to a minute, apply the sunscreen, rub it in good. Once you've rubbed, rubbed it in to the face, obviously it won't absorb, but get it as good as you can. Break off at the temples like you've been doing the whole time. Then I will sanitize. If you have extra product on your hands like I do, go ahead and remove it. Sanitize again. Look at your table and make sure you don't have anything on it. So what I have left is an extra pair of iPads. So I'm gonna make sure I throw this baggie away. So you'll throw that away, you'll sanitize. The only thing you should have left on your table is the steam towel, the mud mask, stuff for the mud mask, and the brush for the mud mask. Look at your client, make sure everything's good. You've already sanitized, you can step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Body treatment, dry exfoliation, and mud mask. You will perform a body treatment, dry exfoliation, and mud mask. You will demonstrate the body treatment on the decolletage. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 15 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have eight minutes remaining, step back to indicate you are finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. All right, you'll step forward and you're, you will sanitize. And then you will get into your baggie and you'll have an exfoliating uh, glove to put on. So you'll put your exfoliating glove on. You can do it over the top of your glove just like I am. And then you're gonna fold down their towel to do it on the decollete. So I like to introduce myself, brace on the head, and then you'll do an exfoliating motion. Do it three to five times across the decollete like this. Once you're done with that, you will remove your glove. This will go into trash and then you'll sanitize. 
Your next step is you're gonna come into this baggie and get your last plastic cup that is in here. Face it down, zip this back up. You will grab your mud mask, there is a little clippy on it. You'll just have to remove that, throw it in garbage. Grab your mud mask, apply it over the garbage. Make sure you get enough to apply it to the whole decollete. So squeeze in a really good amount of that. You can put this into items to be disinfected. And then you're gonna come back over to your client and you will apply your mask to your client's decollete. I keep my hand right here the whole time so I never lose contact. But apply a good amount. They wanna see it all over the decollete. Once you've applied the mud mask to the decollete, you can put your mud mask into the garbage and your brush into items to be disinfected. And then you're going to sanitize. And then your last thing in this baggie is the plastic wrap. So you'll grab that out, throw this away, come over to your client and apply the plastic wrap to your client's decollete. You'll fold this back over and you'll stand over your client for 20 to 30 seconds, implying that the mud mask is sitting on their decollete. Once that is done, you'll unfold the towel and you wanna remove as much as you can when you rub this off. So get as much of the mud mask as you can off. You can even go back in a little bit and remove as much as you can. You'll throw this away and then you'll sanitize. And then the morning before you take your test, you need to make sure you get your steam towel wet. So you'll get your steam towel, throw the baggie away. See how my trash, I didn't throw it in good enough. So I'm gonna reach down, push that in, lay my towel down, sanitize because I've touched in my garbage. Grab my steam towel. I'm gonna, it should be ringed out really good, but they wanna make sure they don't see any drops of water. So wring it out over the garbage, undo your towel, and you're gonna test it on yourself. Do it on both sides of your arms. Come to your client, and you'll re remove the rest of the mud mask on their decollete. Get it all the way off. Once you've removed that, this goes into items or soiled linens. You'll sanitize. And then you'll come back to your client and you'll fold over the towel again. Then you'll sanitize. Make sure at this point, everything is off of your table. If you have extra aesthetic wipes, those need to go in the garbage. Anything extra, any bottles, garbage, or not garbage, two items to be disinfected or trash. Um, look at everything. If it's good, you've sanitized, you can step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. We will now proceed. Blood exposure procedure. You will demonstrate the blood exposure procedure. You will imagine the following scenario. During a service, your client has sustained a minor cut to the forehead. The injury is such that you can continue the service. You have not come into contact with the blood and your work area has not been contaminated. You are expected to demonstrate the proper procedure for a blood exposure. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete the section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Please step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna step forward and sanitize. And then you're gonna grab your first aid kit. Think of this first aid kit as like a really big one that has other uh, band-aids and alcohol wipes, things like that in it. So you're going to quickly grab everything out of it so that you can put the lid back on so that you're not getting any of the other items dirty. You'll put it back up. You'll remove the gloves you have on. 
because there are gloves in the first aid kit for you to wear. So apply these gloves quickly because they're bleeding on their forehead. So apply the gloves. You'll sanitize with these gloves on. And then you're going to take the little plastic baggie and make it into a boat like this. You'll fold it down, make it into a boat. And then you're gonna grab your alcohol wipe. Anything that you're using right here goes into this bag. So grab your alcohol wipe, these go in the bag. Your client has a cut on their forehead, so you're going to use the alcohol wipe on the cut on the forehead. This goes into here because it now has blood on it. You'll grab your Band-Aid, undo your Band-Aid. This will go in that baggie as well. Apply your Band-Aid on the forehead where you put the alcohol wipe because that is where the cut is. This goes into this baggie as well. Once your Band-Aid's on and everything you used related to blood is in here, you're gonna crumple it up in your hand, remove your gloves so that all of the blood is in these gloves and it never sees any human hands again. You'll throw it in to the garbage, you'll sanitize, make sure everything looks good on your table, the band-aids on their head, everything's in the garbage, and you'll step back. All candidates have indicated they have completed this section of the examination. Please do nothing until the next verbal instructions are given. Candidate cleanup and final summary. All examiners have indicated that they have completed their assessment. Please make sure that all kit supplies and disposable materials are taken with you. This concludes the National Institute Council of State Boards of Cosmetology, National Advanced Practice Aesthetics Practical Examination. Thank you for your participation. Okay, so once you're done, you will get out there, get out of there as fast as you can, and they're not testing you anymore. So what you'll do is you'll just grab your stuff. I throw this as quickly as I can into the right things, just so that when I'm cleaning up, I'm more prepared. But you'll just grab your stuff. I'll grab these, throw it in, put my mannequin head in. Uh, these collapse. You'll grab this, throw it in, collapse this, grab your soiled linen. And then with your, um, these things, I just threw them on top. You'll put your lid on. Uh-oh, my mannequin doesn't want to fit. There we go. And then you'll get out of there.